This year, an A7 Pro chipset is anticipated to be installed inside the brand new iPad mini. What is the most thrilling news? In addition to giving you the most recent information on the iPad mini A7 Pro release date and pricing, I will give you all the specifics regarding this. The brand new design that debuted with the iPad Pro in 2018 is now present in every single iPad as of 2023. The iPad mini will use this design starting in 2021, followed by the regular, less expensive iPad the following year in 2022. We have a variety of chipsets, including the M series for the iPad Pro and iPad Air, and a series chipsets like the A15 and A14 for the iPad mini and other inexpensive iPads. In order to prepare you for future iPad videos like the one you're viewing, I'm going to start by updating you on the most recent leaks and speculations. Following that, we'll provide a breakdown of the new iPad mini's official release date so you know when you can buy one. Following that, we'll discuss the model's real specifications and price for the most recent iteration. Next, let's discuss where the iPad mini stands right now. The iPad mini's 8.3-inch display and brand-new design were introduced at the end of 2021, which was the last time it received an update. It also shares the same design language as the other iPads, as I've already mentioned. Additionally, it has an A15 chipset inside. Since this is actually the last update, it appears that the iPad mini will receive a significant improvement in 2023 or possibly 2024. Next, let's discuss the A7 Pro chipset that will be found inside the iPad mini. When you give this some thought, it all makes sense. Many reports claim that the iPad mini may contain, for example, an M2 chipset. However, many of us already know that this would likely only quickly drain the battery. Therefore, Apple probably won't do this. They most likely want to keep the A15 chips its current battery life as close to perfect as possible. Thus, the A17 Pro is useful in this situation. Given how powerful the iPad mini is and the quick USB transfer speeds that are available, it makes a lot of sense to apply it to it. Additionally, we have that improved GPU at the same time. Additionally, it is produced on a 5 nanometer chip and gaming ray tracing is also available. So adding this chipset inside the iPad mini does make a lot of sense. But I also believe that this dispels any future rumors that the M series will be included in iPad mini since as I previously stated, having the A7 Pro just makes sense. It will be possible to reach a 120Hz display with the iPad mini's resolution of 1488 by 2266 and the potential addition of promotion for the first time. But even then, it's possible that it will only receive the typical 60Hz display. However, Apple might do this given that smaller tablets with a 120Hz display are now being released. However, there will likely be the same options of 64 or 256GB storage for the actual sort of baseline storage. Additionally, a 6-core CPU with 4 efficiency cores and 2 performance cores as well as a 5-core GPU will be part of the A17 chipset. Of course, 5G connectivity will also be available. This iPad mini will have an A17 CPU and 8GB of RAM, and the body will be made of aluminum or aluminum if you're in the UK like me. We will still have the Touch ID power button at the same time as well. Face ID won't be available on this iPad mini. There will still be a single camera on the back of the actual iPad, and there will also be a selfie camera called Center Stage up front. It's possible, though, that the camera will also be shifted to the landscape side. It is anticipated that the battery size will remain the same, therefore this will be a 5,124 mAh battery size. However, we anticipate that the 64GB variant will cost $499 and the 256GB model to cost $650. Do you think there should be any big changes to the iPad mini? Put them down in the comments below. And also at the same time, guys, if you've enjoyed watching this video, please press the like button. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell if you want to hear the most recent Apple news, reviews, and comparisons. I'll meet you guys shortly until then. Bye.